back to our channel இந்த வீடியோக்குள்ள போ முன்னாடி நீங்க ஒன்னு நம்ம சேனல்ல சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணலாம் மறக்காம சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணிக்கோங்க வாங்க வீடியோக்குள்ள போலாம் சேனல் and this video we are going to solve the today's daily test so before entering to the video please do like share subscribe for daily videos so now let's get started the question is matrix intersection of two alphabets so what is the question they have given is we must get two string values that is the string uh, s1 and s2 is of equal length as the input okay then we must form a matrix of size 26 cross 26 based on certain conditions given here so the conditions exist the first row contains the 26 alphabets from a to z and the second row consists of 26 alphabets that is from b to z then z to a like that okay and third row similarly c to b and fourth row will be d to c okay and similarly the remaining 20 rows will get formed okay so there are total consists of 26 uh, rows and 26 columns okay and each column has a name which is similar to the first alphabet in the column and each row also has a name which is similar to the first alphabet in the row okay then we must print the output based on certain conditions which is given here the alphabet in s1 represent the names of the rows and the alphabets in s2 represent the names of the column okay then for the alphabets in the same position s1 and s2 that is from left to right the program must print the alphabet present at the intersection of those two alphabets in the matrix and in the note they have given that the string values of s1 s2 contain only lowercase alphabets so let's check this the sample input here you can see that this is the 26 cross 26 matrix then the intersection of p and w contains l so l gets printed and the intersection of o and r contains f so that so the remaining characters are just get printed okay you can see like that so it gets checked with l like this what we have seen here like that okay so today we are going to solve this one using the python language okay so initially i'm gonna create a function name uh generated um matrix like that okay generated matrix so into the value we are going to create generates a 26 cross 26 matrix uh, for the alphabets a to z so for that the matrix will be equal to this and now the base value which you are gonna give that to it so that is a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t u v w x y and e z so okay these are the 26 words which we want to give that and now for i in range will be from 26 okay and the matrix will get appended to the base of starting the i and plus the base of the ending will be the i okay so now the matrix get uh, formed and we must return the matrix here so now i'm gonna create another function so get mm, just naming it intersect okay intersect so the values exist the string string one and string two and the matrix okay this is the values which i'm give and now initially the result we are which i'm get like that and now for ch1 comma ch2 in zip of string 1 comma string 2 and then the row will be equal to order of character 1 minus order of a okay and now the column will be equal to order of character 2 minus order of a okay so now let me save the code so and now the result will get appended to the matrix of row cross column okay and now we must return okay we must return 
string dot join the result okay and now we are going to create a main function here so def main getting this uh, string okay s1 is equal to input dot strip so this strip function is used to remove the white spaces from our input so similarly the string 2 we are getting from the user and now we must create a general matrix so for that i am just creating a generic matrix will be equal to um, our function name generate matrix okay and now we must get the result based on the intersection of the s1 and s2 so for that um, result is equal to get intersect so get intersect of the string 1 comma string 2 comma this above variable name okay binary matrix here and now we must output the results so for that just printing the result and now here if name equals main then just calling the main function so now let us run our code and check for the output and yeah you can see that our code has been successfully passed without getting any error and if this video finds useful please do like share subscribe for more videos and i will see in the next video thank you for watching this